Hi, this is Fredrik Samblom for Siemens Industry Software. In this session, we will be showing you some reverse engineering techniques using Annex and based on incoming scan geometry data. The example in this session will be based on an automotive engine transmission part, but could of course be applied to various parts in any industry where fit. For example, in the aerospace industry, where an existing engine part have to be overhauled, maybe by using additive manufacturing and then, if necessary, be traditionally machined back to its final shape and accuracy. The list of applicable areas for smart reverse engineering is extensive, and by participating this session, maybe there will be some ideas for where you could benefit from it. Since the latest releases of Annex, it is no longer necessary to completely execute reverse engineering as Annex handles scan data such as STLs as convergent bodies that can be directly incorporated into your downstream processes. However, there might be areas where you potentially need more accuracy and for various reasons maybe need to correct the data. Combining the ability to directly handle scan data in the form of convergent bodies, quickly reverse engineering of strategic areas of the scan data, and potentially fix any upstream caused part discrepancy of the incoming scan data, are all great tools on the Annex platform to increase your efficiency and potentially open up for new business opportunities within your business segment. In the following example, we will be showing you how we on the NX platform seamlessly move within the following applications, where we have chosen strategic bits and pieces in order for you to get started. We will be showing you polygon modeling, which provides the ability to directly manipulate the scan data and provide great tools to make the continuous downstream work more efficient. We will also show you a bit of reverse engineering, which provides the ability to quickly from scan data, create surfaces and analytic shapes for more downstream accuracy and further manipulation. In addition, we will also combine with some traditional NX reverse engineering modeling capabilities, such as synchronous modeling which provides great additional capabilities to optimize your part for any potential upstream discrepancies, such as the quality of the incoming scan geometry or any other discrepancies for that matter. In this example, we will have the design scanned and delivered to us in the form of an SDL file. Where the JT format is available, I would highly recommend it as it provides great interoperability and automation should your process be frequently reoccurring as well as based on unique and individual parts as typical within the air engine business. The scan data in this example will be representing a physical part with quite a bit of history to it. In other words, it's an old design manufactured before there was an existing digital twin available. The reason for scanning this part and reverse engineer it is that it has been damaged and needs to be repaired. As we can see here, the transmission axle outlet area and bearing seating of the transmission housing have for some reason cracked and the chip is gone. The idea here is to repair the damaged part as there are no more spare parts available. By scanning it, fill the cracks up by using material deposition or additive manufacturing, and then, if necessary, machine it back to the original precise shape. Here we will be showing a couple of ways of digitally quickly repairing the part. If not too damaged, we just use polygon modeling to fix the crack and the missing piece, represented by the bright green area in the graphical screen. But if, as here, the accuracy and the bearing seat shape and position is of importance, we also add some reverse engineering and, in addition, synchronous modeling, represented by the orange area in the graphical window. 
This concludes the introduction section that is the first in the series of total three tutorials handling reverse engineering on the NX platform.